For all who don't know, everybody knows it's windy. <laughs> Beat Boys, be there! <clears throat> Games. Welcome back to Beat Boys as we beat the Windy Well. Beat Boys! Beat Boys! Actually, so. Whoa! Oh, this sorry. music is fancy. Man, if I were to describe this well, I would say it's pretty windy. Yeah, I mean, it's windy vertically? As, yes, it's coming up from the bottom. Um. I, I, I love this level because you could be like, I want it! <laughs> And you can it's get like it. it's like indoor skydiving, right? Have you seen it? I I have been meaning to do that with my brother for the longest time. Indoor skydiving? Yeah. And I mean, you know, my brother. <laughs> Planning isn't his forte. <laughs> Although he's going to Japan by himself next month Wait, or really? in two months, so he planned that just fine. But um, but I do want to go indoor skydiving. I, it I'm looks very like a lot curious of fun. how in depth planning though. He bought his flight. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See, yeah, that's that's. that's but no, he, he has a plan. Like he's been doing a lot of research, and he like he was telling me about like his plan. He's gonna he's gonna. So he wants to split like half of his time in Kyoto okay. to kind of see like the old like shrines and religious you know things and kind of like that culture. Yeah. And then he also wants to spend half of it in Tokyo to see kind of like the more modern city that oh, Tokyo cool. is. So he has a plan. I don't think he's booked his stay, but he knows the kind of places he wants to look for. Okay. Um, so he has, you know, a general idea of what he wants to do. But anyway... It's better than I expected. I do want to go indoor skydiving with him at some point, because we've been... Do? We've been normal skydiving, like actual skydiving. Which I want to do at some point. Which I would totally be down to do with you. Again, I would do it again. It was a lot of fun. Um... But I want to see how the experiences compare. Mm -hmm. Because I know what normal skydiving feels like. And see, like, I almost feel like it would be different, even though the sensations would probably be similar. Because when you're skydiving, you're so far away from the ground. At least for me, it never really felt like a threat. So like you know, like people are scared of skydiving because you right. know their parachute might not work or something like that, mm -hmm. or like you think it's gonna be scary. And it is, you know, it's definitely a rush. It's a thrill. I'm not saying it's like a tame experience, but you're so far away from the ground, you can't, it doesn't feel like it's getting closer until the like long after the parachute has been pulled. Right. So it's not like oh my gosh, I'm terrified because the ground is getting closer. It just feels like you're falling and it's really windy, but that's kind of like Did you that's say windy it. Well? It's, it's like a windy well, if you will. Um, no parrots here. Okay. Um, but yeah, we should totally go skydiving. Where would you want to go? Like, because I went skydiving in Rhode Island, and that oh. was pretty cool because it was right on the water. I mean, I probably would go there. I get so. I'm I'm very curious about people's opinions on like well like what people are scared of when they go skydiving. So yeah, okay, they're they're scared of their parachute not working, aka they're scared of dying. Of dying, sure, yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like, I mean, I I can't say for everybody, but I feel like more people are scared of pain to death rather than death itself. I so you. like like afraid that it will hurt. I'm like yeah. Okay, interesting. I mean I can't say for certain like um but like i mean we're all gonna die at some point and like if i get if like a grenade just lands next to me and blows up it happens i can't do anything to prevent it <laughs> but i hope that it's it would be unfortunate yeah no that's fair i mean i don't um, think anybody like i yeah, think like, you're nobody, right like wants to die i think you're probably but, like, right but like so i'm so like with people being afraid of skydiving and their parachute are working, so they, you have you have to like psych yourself out of uh, like preemptively of the I don't know going into it. Um, but if anything, like I feel like I mean I'm willing to try skydiving, trusting the fact that you know my parachute's gonna work. Right. Um, uh, but there would be no pain, or m maybe there would be if I you know. 
landed a tree somehow <laughs> or like well i think it's also like a matter of kind of like knowing so like if your parachute doesn't work and you're falling you know chances are like pe people have survived but chances yeah. are you're going to die and if you don't you're gonna you know probably be paralyzed or something like that i think see for me obviously like I don't want a painful death. I don't think anybody does. But I would also like... It's kind of like that whole thing, that whole conversation where if you had the ability to know when you were going to die, like if you were... If someone was like, I know when you're going to die, would you like to know the details? Mm -hmm. Would you want to know? And I personally would not want to know. Um, because then my whole life, like would kind of just be waiting for that moment and I think it would like take away but I would not want to know how I would like how I would die and I don't think I would want to know when I was going to die because I think just knowing that would kind of drive me crazy so I think to your point before I think it's the pain that could potentially be associated with it but I also think it's like you know when you're skydiving and your parachute doesn't work like you have that inevitable mm -hmm. like threat that's looming yeah but with my experience the skydiving was very lovely and was a very fun and enjoyable experience you know what i'm very bad at setting a timer for episodes <laughs> so what's like the like how many oh god um like how how's the death rate for skydiving i don't know let me look it up because i'm curious to know too I mean, like, I'd be lying if I said it was the safest thing oh, yeah, in the no, world. Oh, yeah, it's not the safest thing, like... But like, because sure, of that... Sure, if, you're, if you really just don't want to die, or, you know, experience exhilarating things, then don't do it. <laughs> um... But, let's see... Skydiving death statistics. In 2016, the USPA recorded 21 fatal skydiving accidents in the U.S. out of roughly 3.2 million jumps. Okay. That's one fatality per 152,557 jumps, one of the lowest rates in the sport's history. Okay. Tandem skydiving, which is what you have to do when you first start out skydiving, has an even better safety record with one student fatality per 500,000 tandem jumps over the past decade. Okay. See, I mean, I think it, it helps the fact that, you know, skydiving is very dangerous, but because of that, you better believe everybody's on their game in terms right. of... Safety. Yeah, making yeah. sure that it's as safe as possible because it's as dangerous as it is. Right. Um, yeah. It's like people saying, like, oh, I'm afraid of roller coasters. Why? Well, I mean, like, I mean, other than the fact that maybe, maybe you get dizzy, but... If you don't get dizzy, why are you afraid of them? Right. Um, I mean, I never understood it. I love getting dizzy and <laughs> getting thrown around. Um, yeah, so, I guess I mean, it's just the teach their just own. Just me. Um, I mean, some people don't like beer, Alex. <laughs> what? Yeah, those, they, those, <laughs> those people exist. Those people exist. No. They that that is not a myth. Um, Confirmed. But uh, yeah, no, it's it just like um, like wh why like so when I was little. And we went to Six Flags in New Jersey. Um, I went with all my siblings, and, I, um, and they're all older than me. And of course, like I'm the youngest, so I'm like, oh, I've got to like, you know, I've got to be with the group. Like, sure. Um, and I was like scared to go on some of the rides. Um, and then like, and I was like, and then with the thoughts that went through my head were like, well, why am I scared? I was like, I'm looking at all these people. Who are getting off the ride and they are alive and probably pretty happy like and they probably, very, they probably they, like smiles on their faces stuff like that right unless they, they didn't they did. like it they did um oh god this is terrible oh uh, no that's unfortunate um i like just skimmed that stupid horizontal jellyfish what the fuck is that <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah no and then after that um i don't know just, just my thought process. Did you end up going on? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, okay. it, was, it, it was actually uh, I don't Nitro uh, at uh, New Jersey. I've um, never been. Oh, so I've never been is, at Six Flags. It is actually my favorite ride. Oh, there okay. Jersey, even though King Ka, which is currently the, the fa uh, faster and um, taller, yeah, um, it's a shorter ride. Um, yeah, because it's kind of just up and down. Right. Um, but 
Nitro, you're also only held in by the waist. You don't have anything to grab onto. Well, you do, but you on like your waist. But, right, 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 right. Um, yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I I have been wanting to go to Six Flags New Jersey, so I'll have to put that on the list. I kind of had a similar experience. So, as you know, my family goes to Disney a lot. But the first time I went, that I remember, um, and I'll preface this with I love roller coasters. Um, yeah. There isn't a roller coaster that I won't go on now. But um, when uh, they have, so they have the Aerosmith ride, a uh, rock and roller coaster in uh, Hollywood Studios at Disney. Yeah. Um, and I remember the first time I went, I got in line, waited for the whole line, and at the end, I got like really nervous because that I'd never been on an upside down roller coaster, and that roller coaster goes upside down. Mm -hmm. And this is when I was like significantly younger than I am now. Um, so you know, it, looking back, it makes sense that I was a little nervous because I was so young. But I waited that entire line. It was just me and my dad because my my two brothers who were older than me also did not want to go on it. And me and my dad were waiting in the whole line, and we got to where they were boarding you. So we were like next to the roller coaster, and I was like, I I don't feel good. Like I don't want to do this. I don't know why I did that. Um, and I got off. Like we we left. Oh really? And I was like so mad at myself. And I think it was the next trip. Like I got online. And I'm like I'm doing this ride, and I loved it. It's one of my favorite rides at Disney now. But I was I was just so like young, and like I said, I hadn't been on a roller coaster that went upside down, so I was like super <laughs> nervous. Um, but I had no, not that I didn't have any reason to be, but like. Like I said, now it's I got off that ride the first time I I finally went on it, which I, <laughs> was the next trip because I was like I was determined, and I was like this is my favorite ride here. Um, and now I love roller coasters. Like I said, I I've been to to Cedar Point. I know we've talked about this a little bit, but yeah. which has you know a number of some of the the most intense roller coasters in the world, and I loved that park. The wait times were a little. You know, Absurd. undesirable, but um, the the coasters themselves were an absolute blast. Um, we should go there. Yeah, I know we've been talking about that a lot. A lot. Um, if if you like, if you guys have any kind of uh, specific roller coasters or parks that you like because of their roller coasters, let us know because we're always looking for. Uh... We're, we're always looking for for some more parks to go to. I love amusement parks. I mean, we were talking about this later or earlier in this series. And unfortunately, Lake Compounds, which is like my childhood growing up one. Ah. Oh. Right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold that thought and I'm going to say next time on Beat Boys. Okay. Uh, we're going to take on the Chain Link Chamber again. And beat it. Because we're beat. I see what you did there. You like used our name, like the beat, beat boys, but right. we're gonna we beat it. Beat things in a non sexual manner. Maybe a little sexual. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, interpret it as you will. Okay, bye. <laughs>